Prince Charles still feels a terrible sense of failure to this day over his marriage to Princess Diana, according to a royal biographer. Prince Charles and Princess Diana married in their spectacular 1981 royal wedding. However, by 1992 their ill-fated marriage was disintegrating and the Prince and Princess of Wales separated. Before Diana's biography, Diana, her true story, came out that year, the public had little inkling of how unhappy the relationship had become. However, Prince Chalers had long since given up on the marriage, and a sense of failure still haunts him to this day, according to a royal biographer. Author Penny Junior, in her 2005 book The Firm. Ems Junior writes, he gave up. Not because he didn't care but because he couldn't help. He felt desperate, hopeless and guilty. And to this day he feels a terrible sense of failure for not having been able to make his marriage work. However, Ems Junar continues, that is not to say there was no happiness. There were moments of intense pleasure, the children brought huge joy and there was laughter and jokes and fun, but not enough to counter the difficulties. As time went by the gulf between them became no longer bridgeable. In her 2017 book The Duchess, Ems Jr. also reflects on Prince Charles' feelings after the sudden and untimely death of Diana in 1997. Ems Jr. writes, he wept bitterly at the sheer tragedy of it all, that their life together, which they had both so wanted to work, should have ended in such acrimony and anger, and he wept for William and Harry. And he wept for his failure to help Diana. He knew he had done his best, no guilt there, but she'd been beyond any help that he was able to provide. It was a bruising and difficult time for him. Royal biographer Sally Bedell Smith dates the breaking down of the Wales's marriage to 1986 in her 2017 book Charles, The Misunderstood Prince. She writes, in April 1986, the couple started taking separate holidays. After five mostly unhappy years, Charles had given up. He genuinely believed that he had, as a member of his staff put it, turned himself inside out for her, but her needs were inexhaustible. The rest of the world did not suspect the true extent of Charles and Diana's unhappiness until Diana secretly collaborated on Andrew Morton's tell-all book Diana, Her True Story in 1992. The book presaged the Prince and Princess of Wales 1992 separation, which came before their high-profile 1996 divorce. Prince Charles made a disastrous decision in 1994 to speak about his affair with Camilla Parker Bowles, and the Duke of Edinburgh was incensed with his son, according to a royal biographer. Prince Charles and Princess Diana married in their spectacular royal wedding in 1981. However, the marriage would prove to be notoriously rocky and the Prince and Princess of Wales both had affairs with other partners. When Prince Charles admitted to infidelity with Camilla Parker Bowles on TV in 1994, he incensed his father Prince Philip and shocked the nation. Royal author Penny Junior, in her 2005 book The Firm, takes a look at the Prince's disastrous interview with broadcaster Jonathan Dimbleby. Mr. Dimbleby asked the Prince, did you try to be faithful and honorable to your wife when you took the vow of marriage? Ems Junior writes, yes said the prince, and after a brief and rather anguished pause said, until it became irretrievably broken down, us both having tried. She continues, the Duke of Edinburgh was incensed, the rest of the family flabbergasted, the Queen's advisers and courtiers stunned, the prince's friends appalled. The blame fell squarely on, private secretary, Richard Aylward for having allowed Charles to make what many regarded as the worst mistake of his life. At the time many people thought it might cost him the throne. Mr. Railroad told the author, it wasn't being honest to Jonathan that was the problem. If you want to start placing blame, the fault was getting into the relationship, with Camilla, in the first place. Ems Jr. adds, the Queen and the Duke were appalled by the Prince of Wales. The book Jonathan Dimbleby wrote about the Prince in 1995 following the disastrous film, and hurt by the picture he drew of his childhood. A former courtier told the author, the Prince of Wales gave him all this stuff about how unhappy he was as a boy, the Queen never spoke to him, the Duke of Edinburgh was beastly to him, and it very much upset them. Ems Jr. gives her opinion that the Prince of Wales' great misfortune is that he has never been able to be even faintly economical with the truth. 
A former courtier told her, You might have thought the prince could have found a way of dealing with Diana. He could have said, Let's have a high-level conference over tea to see how we're going to to manage this. But it's part of his psychology that he can't do that, it's all part of not giving a PR answer, not telling the smallest of white lies. The 1994 Dimbleby interview would prove to be a key factor in prompting Princess Diana's decision to film her bombshell 1995 panorama interview. The interview, which the princess filmed secretly, would itself herald the Queen's insistence in 1996 that the couple finally divorce after four years of separation. 